damp hair. Damp hair, the moisture in the hair gives us good distribution of the gel and the product through the hair. And we're really going to rough dry this. I'm not going to pick up a blow dryer. I'm going to a brush. I'm going to use my blow dryer and I'm going to rough dry to really get the moisture out because I want this to be kind of loose. And then we'll see, depending on the texture we get, we might go in and choose to flat iron some sections to, to create movement or to create direction within the style. Some of it is we'll see what we get based on her hair and its texture. We may even go in on dry hair and add a little additional texture. licensed barber and a licensed cosmetologist. I'm also a certified personal trainer and I specialize in working with individuals in the professional beauty industry addressing issues of health and wellness as they relate to productivity. We use heat to bend hair and make hair happen. Heat can be a powerful tool for making hair do amazing things. Heat can also be a little bit dangerous. You gotta try these. You're gonna love these. New from Jatai, these are heat shields. There's a medium large and a small medium, and there's a thumb specific and a finger specific, especially when working with thermal irons. I'm using the blow dryer. My hands are exposed to that heat. What a wonderful way to add a level of protection. We want to do amazing things with hair. We want to protect ourselves while we protect our clients. But with a thermal iron, a flat iron, a curling iron, or even a blow dryer, especially when we're using our fingers and hands to manipulate hair, I might put another one or two on a couple other fingers if they're really going to be in the heat all day. And in the t winter, when the winter climate with the dryness in the air and our fingers sometimes really drying out, we're using hand lotions and things like that, but to really protect ourselves from the additional heat of styling implements, these are a great idea in the salon every day. You can't take care of them if you don't take care of you. And that's some of the important things we talk about when we talk about health and wellness for beauty industry professionals. Just using the flat iron to create a little bit of movement and direction in through the top, and I've got my guards on to protect my fingers from any additional heat. little bit of styling paste. This is a medium hold product, but it's great for separation and texture. We want to cut in that texture with the use of our razor. Razor cutting lets us cut in that texture, but then we really want to show off that texture by applying product that enhances the pieciness and enhances the separation and really takes advantage of all that texture that we cut in. It doesn't do any good to cut it in if we don't do something with it. So. We really get some separation, we get some volume and fullness and pieciness that really shows off the texture that we cut or created. And a little bit of hairspray to finish. I'm liking the way this looks, but something's missing. There's just a little something missing in the details. So, let's come in
since we've got that undercut area to just kind of draw a little visual interest in a corner like that. We're going to add a small design element and we're going to use our Artist Club razor to just further etch that in just a bit. I apply a small bead of the Jatai Shave Cream to the area that I am going to etch in so that I get good clean razor work. adds a little bit of extra visual pop through that side of the haircut.